was a cold, bright, antiseptic smelling hospital room. The man lay in the bed. He was dying. He was very old and he was crying mournfully saying over and over, I wasted it! I wasted it! I wasted my life! How precious is your life? In the movie In Time, Justin Timberlake's character lived in a society where everyone had their time left on earth written on their arm. It had the hours the months, the days, the minutes, the seconds, right there where they could see them. If you had your time on your arm, where you could watch your minutes ticking down, would you use them differently? I'm going to talk today about several strategies and two, two tactics that you can use to manage your time. Very precious, your life. So don't waste it. So Stephen Covey said that it's, the key is not spending your time, but investing your time. Now, each of us is very serious about money, and we wouldn't spend, put all of our money into one stock. In the same way, we need to have a balanced portfolio for our time. Think about when you're laying in that hospital bed, when it's your time to go. When you look back on your life and all the memories that you've had, do you want to have a variety of different accomplishments, all kinds of different happy memories, different spiritual goals accomplished, community goals, things with your family, with your work, your career? What you want to strive for is a balanced portfolio. Don't just min-max. Min-maxing is what someone, maybe you have heard of him, Sheldon Cooper, does, where he spends all of his time focused on very specific activities and loses track of everything else in his life. What you want to do is make sure that you're spending your time on all different things. We all know the type, a PhD student who spends all their time completely focused on studying Meanwhile, their health slips away, their friends slip away, their career, their job slips away. Don't let this happen to you. Make sure you have a balanced portfolio, just like you would with your money, because the truth is, your time is more valuable than your money. How much would you spend for a few more minutes at the end of your life? So let's move to the second strategy. So first of all, you need a balanced portfolio. The second is being intentional with your time. So now you've got your goals. You have all these great goals, some for spiritual, some for health, some for family, some for career. Now, tell me if this sounds familiar. You start off your week with these great goals. And I'm going to give you an example of money. So I start off on Monday morning. I'm like, yes, I'm going to save money this week. Tuesday comes along. Oh, I go to Walmart, and I buy three things that I do not need. Friday comes along, I go clothes shopping, I buy an outfit that looked great on the rack, but it's horrible and I will never wear it. Then Saturday comes, and I think, what happened to the week? I spent so much money. This is, I'm a failure. <laughs> now, let's look at, look at time. How many times do you start the week with a huge list of to-do items? Things you actually have, you absolutely have to get done. Well, Tuesday comes, you're like, eh. Wednesday, eh, Thursday, eh, oh my gosh, it's Saturday. It's gone. It's gone. Now imagine that multiplied times all of the minutes of your life, all the weeks of your life. How much time is going by that you're losing, that you're wasting? What you need to do is be intentional. You have intentions in your mind, but when the moment comes and the decision to how to spend that time, you waste it. I used to have a, an alarm on my clock that went off three times a day. And when that alarm went off, I'd ask myself, am I doing something efficient right now? So it's a really good way to remind myself to be intentional with my time. So we've talked about in a balanced portfolio. We've talked about being intentional. Okay?
you know, rather time wasters, and not really a precious moment. Now let's look at two passages that we can use. The first one is something that CEOs use. It's called time boxing. And this is a brilliant idea. What you do is you have all your goals and you create a, a time chart with percentages based on priority. And then once you create your priority time chart, you go to your calendar and you watch the right number of hours for each of those priorities. So now you have time on your calendar allocated for your time chart. Then, as you get tasks, tasks come into your inbox, or people give you things to do. Then you go into those tap, those pie chart areas, or those areas on your calendar, and you say, okay, I'm going to do this task in this time. And that way, you're always focused on the most important thing. Now, I'll go to the second tactic, which is called the Pomodoro. Now, Pomodoro is, <laughs> is based on a timer. And what you do is you set this for 25 minutes. And during the 25 minutes, you focus. You laser focus on your task at hand. This is great for me because my mind is like a monkey. Jumping all around. I'm sitting there studying for school. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is brilliant. This is the most brilliant idea ever. I want to go to Google. I want to go to Word and start typing it up. But I stop. Timer. It's ticking away the seconds of my life. So, Pomodoro is a great effective tool. So, what is your life? How precious is it? Your time is precious. If you waste your life, you're going to be like that man laying in the bed crying. I wasted it! I wasted it! If you could see the seconds of your life, the minutes, the hours, the days ticking by, Make it, it's your life. Make it count.